Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. When it came time for me to make my first picture, which I co-directed with Alan Arkish, uh, the only way we could make it was if we promised to make it around footage from other movies. And having never done this before, I immediately ran back to the one movie that I remembered had done it quite well, uh, a movie called Captive Wild Woman, where director Edward Dimitrik, who used to be an editor, uh, was tasked with taking a 1933 Clyde Beatty circus movie called The Big Cage and shooting a horror movie around it with a different cast. And it actually turned out surprisingly well. Captive Wild Woman. <laughs> Nothing says cost-cutting like structuring your entire movie around someone else's, but this one's done pretty cleverly. Mad Dr. John Carradine in his first Universal Horror lead is quite, quite mad, you see. His Moreau-like goal is to create a superior race by mixing man and beast genes, so he transplants his nurse's brain into Chila, a stolen circus gorilla, which transforms the ape into Paula Dupre, exotic, mysterious, sexy, played by the so-called Venezuelan bombshell Aquanetta, introduced here despite it being her third movie. She was actually of Arapaho distraction, and this is her best performance because she has no dialogue. Milburn Stone doubles for famed lion tamer Clyde Beatty in copious footage from the big cage, the Ape Girl is jealous of Stone's girlfriend, Evelyn Ankers, but it would take a few more years in Ed Wood to go into the lurid ramifications of that kind of triangle. Jack Pierce's Ape Girl makeup is top-notch. Carradine is low-key and effective, and as a kid I had a kind of a crush on Evelyn Ankers, who's always an eyeful. Two more Paula Dupre movies followed, neither as good as this one, which only runs an hour, but is lots of fun.